combo smoke. Combo smoke is a combination of coal and hot. And coal will, it's going the middle. Just put it in. And you put as much as you want in here. The thing about it is that it's all black on the other side because I've used it. And again, this is a smoker, not going to stay the fat side up. So of course the bony side is definitely not up. You don't want to put stacking on like that. Okay, everybody, hello, hello, hello. Happy 4th of July. Today is the 4th of July here, and um, I'm getting ready to use a indoor smoker. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you all for being there. Please give me thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all. You won't see this on the 4th of July though because today's the 4th of July. I'm smoking these ribs in this thing and believe me, it will take uh, quite a few hours. So it won't be up on the 4th of July, but soon after. So in case you want to smoke something inside the house, you can use um, this, this electric smoker here to, uh, to get it done. Now I've made, I made a few things on it already. Um, and so now we're going to see what's going to happen at this point because it comes with um, this ring. This comes with this ring. Can you see it, Perry? It comes with this ring here and it has these holes in it. When you put it inside of the, of the um, machine, the holes got to be on top. So you see that the holes have to be on top. And then it has, comes with this, the top. And you put this on top of it after you put the wood chips in. Do not have to uh, soak the wood chips or anything. You just want to put them in. So right now, oh, and it comes with three, three racks. Now this thing's supposed to come with a, um, well, I guess I didn't get the one that's a crock pot and a smoker, but it doesn't matter because I have a crock pot. So I, I only wanted the smoker part. Anyway, matter of fact, I have two crock pots. I don't need a crock pot. So it didn't really matter to me. The smoker part was the one I really got it for. And I'll put a link at the bottom where I got it and what it is and all that if you really want to get it. And it also comes with it. Well, it comes with these racks. It comes with three stackable racks. This one with the handles is the one that goes on first. That comes on, that goes on first. So right here, it goes on first. And then you can stack up, uh, stack up anything you want. So I've made hamburgers in here. I've made chicken in here so far. Um, and it comes, at, it comes with a smoke smell. The chicken I made for Sharita and Daryl and Sharita both said that it tastes smoky, but they like the crunchiness more on a chicken. So I suggest if you do use this and you like that, you need to stick it in the, under the broiler and get it a little crunchy and then probably brush some barbecue sauce on that, whatever you want. And it should be wonderful if you like it that way. And most people do. So in court, including me. So when I make these ribs, those ribs are going under the broiler for a few minutes to get that crunchy texture on it. And then they're going to be torn up. So that's what we're doing today. I'm not going outside in the sun. I was outside for a few minutes and it's hot out there. <laughs> I'm not going out there to cook nothing this year because of Corona. I don't have a whole bunch of company. So all good and all cool the gang. I'm not doing that. So, now, here's the uh, wood chips. Um, today I'm going to use the hickory wood chips. Um, and I'll get, put a link down also to where I got it from. I got this from Amazon also. So I'll put a link down where I, had to, where I bought this. And you just put these, this in, in the, the chips right in the middle. Just put it in. And you put as much as you want in here. The thing about it is... You don't want it, you can't put too much because the, you have to be able to close the top. And that's all you really want to do. You can put less if you want. Uh, if you put less in there, it's okay. But you really, you, you know, if you're going to cook for a long time, you want to make sure you have enough of these, of this, uh, of the smoke in here, the hickory in here. Or whatever kind you use. I, I was using apple chips. This time I'm going to use the hickory. So as long as, as long as Sarita is up here with me. As long as um, you do that, you're good to go. You can, you're fine. So we're gonna, I think that that is full, I'd say, for the most part. I say that that is full. I'm gonna put a clip on this. Well, I'll do that in a minute. And now you just put the top on. Here's the top. You put the top on. It's all black on the other side because I've used it. And again, this is a smoker. Not gonna stay clean because it's a smoker. 
you know, you can't, you can barely get that, you can get it off or whatever, but that's fine. Anyway, on goes, on goes the first rack. And what I'm doing, I seasoned my ribs already. These were seasoned yesterday and I put them in the refrigerator and them sit overnight. Now I cut them in half because it's, it can only, I season them with sweet, uh, uh, um, there's a sweet smoke. Hold on, I'll show you what it is. Just one second. Some of the stuff I think I still have out. Um, where is it? Did I put them in here? Yeah. This. And like the main things I season it with is here. Well, the main thing I season it with is definitely here. I, I had a, 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 another rub, but I definitely use this. This stuff is good. And I use some thyme, onion powder, um, some garlic powder, garlic powder. I didn't really put any salt on here. And you know what? I'm going to sprinkle just a little salt on it right now. Just a little bit because it is meat and it's going to smoke uh, for the rest of the, for the rest of the day. Let me find salt. Okay. Could have used this Trader Joe's dry Yeah, I could have used, I don't have tra Trader Joe's, but I don't have Trader Joe's, but I should have asked you. You probably have it. Of course I do. So I'll put a little salt on there. Just a little. Now I'm putting the second rack on. And it says to put the fat side up. So of course the bony side is definitely not up. Then want to put stacking one like that. And put the next part in. This meat, <clears throat> this meat from the store I bought it for from <clears throat> cost um cost me. Uh, a lot of money. It costs like $20 for this. And you know, if I bought it from, from Costco, it would not have cost me that. But I would have got a lot. And I didn't really want all that, all of it. So two, two, two ribs today is going to be enough because that's all. It's just us. So I don't need all of them ribs today. And so now I am going to cover it up. I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to put this on for, come on, what's wrong with you? This way. Hmm. I think you are now. Okay. All right. You are on now. I'm going to put this on for on high on hot smoke. It comes in cold smoke, hot smoke, combo smoke. Combo smoke is a combination of cold and hot and cold will it starts off cold and then it goes to hot and it stays on for a long time. I guess if you want to cook like a, um, a pork butt, you know, you want to do something like that, then you will want it on like that. But a pork butt is a big piece of meat. And I would suggest that if you wanted to cook something like that, you just get yourself ready to be this thing on for like 12 hours. Right now, I'm going to put it on for about five hours. So I'm going to see when it's going to get done. And I'm going to put it on, on a hot on hot smoke because I, 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 it's done. I want it to cook. So I need it to cook. It starts in increments of five minutes. So, and then you go to timer. So we're going to do hours. See how many hours I can get on here. Three, four. Uh oh, it only goes up to four hours. Okay. So I'm going to do it up to four hours because that's all it does at hot smoke. If you want it to be more than one, more than four, four hours, you have to put it on combo. I know it had a limit and I guess four is the limit. So for me, it's going to be on for the whole four hours. Okay. One more four hours. Then I'm going to press start and we're going to wait for it. Now I'm going to put, put the plug in. Keep it plugged in. You want to keep, you want to make sure that it's, it is on as best as it can be. That looks like it is to me. And then once we're finished, once, um, once it starts smoking, uh, it's going to smoke. It won't, it will not turn on anyway until it starts smoking. And it, and it, once it starts smoking, then it'll be on for like four hours. And hopefully that'll be done. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make a little bit of potato salad, maybe some coleslaw and stuff like that, so that uh, we can have something to eat for dinner today. 
So that's what we have in, but it's gonna be inside. I'm not cooking outside today. <laughs> too hot, it's too hot. I'm not gonna do it. We cooked outside the other day, but that's enough for me for right now. So that's what we're doing today. So I'll show you how it looks when it starts smoking. So right now you can see that you can still see inside, but I'll show you how it looks once it starts smoking. And then we'll be back again. Okay, see you later. Okay, I'm back again. And um, this is smoking. It's starting to deal with some smoke starting to come out. But you know what? It's not smoking a whole lot. It is. It's hot. It's hot up here. It's hot on the top. I mean, you will want to keep your hand on here. And the handles are cool. So that's really good. I just want to show you guys that as soon as it started smoking, the time started going down. So it's it's on now. It's on. And I know I'll tell you something else. I can make it stay on. I can just take that out, take it off, and then it will it will seal. Once I push this down like that, it'll start sealing. Yep. It won't come off. So if you want it to stay on, that's locking in. That locks in all the smoke, just like that. It's on its way to be in smoke. It'll be going on for the next few hours, and there we go. If I need to put it on for a little, another hour longer, I will, you know. How will you know if you need to put it on for another hour? Because I'll check it. I'll check the temperature of the, of the, of the, um, the ribs, and I'll know. And how, what's the temperature supposed to be? 160. Pork, about 160. Chicken? Yeah, it's about the same as chicken. Mm -hmm. 160 should be fine. Well, I have a meat thermometer and we'll, I'll check it. I believe it's 160, but I'll check it. Okay, guys, I'll see you hours from now. I'm going to get ready to do my um, potato salad and other things so I can have dinner on time. See you later. Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay, it's been on uh, almost the whole four hours. Yeah. This has been on just about four hours. And I probably could have had it at three and a half, to be honest, because I checked it and it's already done. So what I'm gonna do right now is first stop it, um, which is right there, I'm gonna turn it off. Second, I'm taking this the pot off, the top off. Okay. Remember there was no water in there. If you can see, it's pretty much juicy down all the, all the um, Juice and stuff went right down to the bottom. So it smoked, okay? I, I temperature checked it. It was in the 200, this thing is done. Done, done, done. 170 is well done pork. So it was in the 200. And now what I'm you gonna do. You wanna make sure your pork is done. Yeah, yeah. You want to make sure your pork is done. Pork is a pork is a meat that will actually make you sick if it's not done. You want you want your pork done. I don't know, but you know because a pig is a swine, he does all kinds of stuff. So you want to make sure that thing is done. You know why the boards eat people? That's how I'm taking out the, the you know the, the rack. See, I took it out very easily with a with a fork. It was easy to come out. So I'm gonna put her over here, time being two. And then I'm gonna take the last one out. It is, as I say, falling off the bone. Now, like you know, you guys know I could I could have whipped this up in my in my um pressure cooker in no time. But I wanted to see the real smoke here. You know what, you know, and this is, you know, this is falling off the bone here. It's really falling off. What's going on is it got to, went on the bottom here, it got probably burnt on. <laughs> the last time you did it. Yeah, right, it's okay. And I'm going to put something on my hands to get this out. But right now, right now I can use these. And that's what I do. Oh, well, it was, it has a handy handy handle. Wow. It actually, the, the body, body came off with, with it. In this, this case, case. Okay. okay. That's what happened. Because it's sticking to it so much. But the body came off. So I got to figure out how to get this off. And it's still smoking, as you can see. 
this is this is this is real time what happened when I put this on for four hours easily easily it could have been on for two hours easily what the instructions was it's supposed to stay on for I think it would it had it on cold smoke but let me first, first of all let me get this off that's most important let me get this thing uh, nope I need a knife I need a knife let me use this because I have to get this off of the the top yeah here we go there you go that's it I'm not exactly stuck on it as I thought. No, not really. Come here, you. Come here, you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's done. And be and also, it's at the bottom where the bone is. So it's really not it's not horrible at all. Now it has to cool. It has to cool the heck off. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at it underneath and see what it looks like, though. Well, there's wow. no real meat there, right? It's, it's, yeah. you know, it's brown, but that's okay. Right. Well, nothing but bones it Smells really good. So that's okay. And now the meat is on the top, so it looks good. Who eats that in the bottom anyway? So guys, you seen it? I did it. <laughs> this is my, my first time, time making ribs, ribs up in here, here in the smoker, and, and you know. know it's fine, fine to me. me. It's, it's still, still smoking. smoking. I turned it off, but it's still smoking. I'm, you got to wait. I got to wait. Or whomever has to wait till this is completely cool before you try messing with it. So it might not get completely cool until tomorrow. That's when I'll clean it. Right now, it's going to stay like that. And I'm okay with it. I'm going to be f quite well with it. Okay? Now, you want to put some... Uh, uh, sauce on it, at least I do, because that's all it needs. It needs to just get a little crispy. It's really all it needs. And I'm quite sure this is gonna be this gonna be good. It smells good, man. It really does. I can't wait to make a um a pork butt, which I'm gonna go find me one in a store maybe in Far Rockaway. Okay, where's a brush? Okay, I'm gonna go find me a pork butt. And I'm going to put, I'm going to try to make this, make a pork butt in here before the summer is over. So I have some pork sliders. By, by fall, for real, I'm going to find that. You guys, I'm going to do a video on that so you guys can see how that is. But I'm sure it's going to be fabulous. Fabulous. So this is just regular old barbecue, barbecue sauce. Nothing, nothing fancy. Could, I could throw a little honey on it. What do you think, Sharita? What you think? If I put honey on it, what do you think? A drop of honey? I need a little bit of honey. Your barbecue sauce doesn't have honey in it? No. So, let's see. I got a little honey right here. I'm going to throw a little honey on top of my barbecue sauce. And maybe a little bit of pepper. I mean, a little bit of hot sauce. What do you think? No hot sauce. I don't want it spicy. You don't want it spicy? No. Okay. Perry don't either. I'm sure. We'll just put a little honey so it makes it a little sweet on top of here. Ah, good. Just a little honey on. Yeah, baby. There she goes. Okay. So we're going to put it in the oven. All right, I'm going to put it under the boiler. And... The broiler's already on. The broiler is on low. I got that broiler on low. It's right under the, it's right directly under the broiler. Just cook, uh, you know, get broiled, and then we're gonna eat. So I made um, potato salad already for my dinner. And here's my potato salad. There we go. This is coming, dinner potato salad. I just did a, a, a live with this potato salad while this was cooking. But dinner potato salad right there. And I'm going to make some corn and some um, assorted vegetables. And that's going to be it. That's how, we, that's how we're going to roll today. That's how we're going to eat. So I do have, I do have this. I'm going to put this actually up 
I'm turn it on for like three minutes. Okay, so my corn is up there getting done. In three minutes, it should be done, three or five or whatever. I'll be put it back in for another three minutes. And uh, I'm going to check it now because I've been talking for like three minutes. So I want to see that it's not getting burnt. And it's not. It's not doing anything. I'm going to, now I'm going to just put the oven up on high. On high boil. So it's off. It's back on. It's back on. So I got it on a high broil, right under it, and let it, let it do its thing so it doesn't take that long, and it'll be done. But this thing is still smoking. I had enough chips in here for it to smoke for quite a while. So I put a butt. No. Well, no, you, don't really, you can't really overfill. You just got to, it's got to smoke. You could, you could put less, you could put more. It's not really over. It's going to do its thing. But uh, truth of the matter is, yeah, that's that. That looks. That really looks good, and I, I think a a butt would be good. All right, let me check. Okay, it is getting done. I might have to turn it. Okay, yeah, I want I want to make a turn. Not good yet. Not yet, not yet. Okay. I say within the next four or five minutes, it'll be done. Easily. But it's more like I've been outside with this smoke boy. It would be in my hair if I was outside. If I was outside, I would forget about it. It's not like that. It's not like that. As a matter of fact, if I want to, I could put the top <laughs> on. You said it didn't smell, but it definitely, you do smell, and I'm sure it's in I'll your I'll put hair. the top on, that top right back on, and then you won't smell it. But I really don't want to do that, because I want this to die out. So I'm going to do it like that. So it doesn't die out. So it does die out. Okay, this was in three minutes. I think it's done, too, for three minutes. But we'll leave it until I'm finished. We'll leave it until I'm done. But, because most importantly, I need to check on my, um, my meat in here. We don't want that to get burnt by no, but no stretch of the imagination. Mm -mm. We don't want it burnt. I say, yep, I say maybe it gets another minute or so. Then I'm pulling it out. According to my according to my stove, it says 5:58. According to my watch, it says 6 o'clock. By 6:01 for real, on my on my watch, it's going out. So, hey Siri, give 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 I'm me. Here. I'm listening. Give me a one minute timer. Okay, one Your minute and counting. One minute. Say that on my watch. <laughs> That's my watch and my phone. There you go. <laughs> gadgets, man. Gadgets are good. But the old days is good, too. Let me tell you. Tell you. We was having a conversation about that today, about people got to take care of their kids and their family and their house. God stopped this world right now so we could get a hold of our families and, be, and, and, and love them and hug them and be with them. So I think that's why this whole thing started but God took care of this and he's going to continue to take care of this so I think in my humble opinion so I get I don't know how many what seconds we got on here I actually didn't want to check it because I was more than a minute in the first place so yes I'm not, I'm not going to let it go longer than necessary okay there's, okay it's buzzing Okay, time to stop. Time is done. Time is done. And so is this, these ribs. These ribs are D-O-N-E done. Done, done, done. And stop. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to put it in front of the camera so you guys can see. Um, you will get a, maybe I'll give it a little piece, a taste, a slight taste test right now. I'm going to put this down so that I have some padding on here. Some more padding on here. Put it down. So I do not want nothing to get to get burnt. All right, so she's on here. She's looking good. That's it. That's it. There's the firecrackers. This is the 4th of July today. And the firecrackers have been like crazy people these days. What? Yes, it would. And how we would, how we always, I always wanted to do something because it was my first time. Yeah, it always. Yeah. I don't know why you didn't drive because I feel like you have your license. But we went. Because your father probably had my car. We went to see That's why. Remember that? Mm-hmm. We went to Rangers and we were like soaked in our jeans. Yeah. Watched, I think that's when we watched Misery, no? Maybe. Was yeah, that was a good movie. I am having this. I did have my license when I was when you were ten. Yeah, but you didn't drive there. Cause you thought I had my car. Let me tell you guys, this tastes like it smoked. It tastes like it smoked through and through. It really does. Is it out of the bread? Yeah, it's done. Would you like to take a taste? Okay, Shavita's gonna take a taste. I'm walking over to her. Thank you. It's nice and um tender. It's good. It's tender. It's good. It's very tasty. It's good. It's good. It gets it gets thumbs up over here. Thank you, little pot. You work. You like. You work very well. If you really and I mean, it really has a nice smoky taste to it. It really does. Uh huh. It really does. It really really does. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat today because this really tastes good. Really, really tastes like it's been outside cooking and smoking. So, cheers, everybody! Have a good, a good Fourth of July, and thank you all for coming. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you all for my thumbs up. Thank you all for always being there. But I am tired, and I'm out of here now. So, see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.